Hey guys, what I'd like to do in this video is share with you a very useful script called BTC Recover. This is an open source script, it's free to download and what it does is allow you, well helps you to, to find your password in an encrypted wallet. So if you've got an encrypted wallet for any cryptocurrency and you can't find the password that you set for it, if you've locked the wallet and you can't find it, this will help you find it, it will also help you find the seed. Now. This uses brute force, um, as you would expect, is, is guessing passwords. And you know, whenever you hear the word brute force, it's no, normally followed by the, the word attack, brute force attack. And you know, this is because a lot of spammers, a lot of malware, a lot of malicious parties will use brute force attacks to guess passwords on websites and you know, accounts and things like that. I have no doubt that some people could use this in a malicious way because maybe they'll use it to find, you know, if they've stolen a wallet.dat file or copied it, maybe they could use it in a malicious way to find someone's password. But it was designed for a positive reason. It's designed to help people that can't find a password. You know, that, that in mind, uh, with regards to people using it in a malicious way, this can't just guess any password. It can't. You need to give it help. So what you have to do is set some parameters. You have to say, I think the password contains this word. Maybe it contains two words. I think it's, you know, this amount of characters. And you need to give it help and say, well, I'm very close to it, but I don't know the exact uh, password. So you don't know the exact phrase and you don't know the exact seed. So that's what it is. It's to try and help people that are nearly there, but just don't have it all. If, if you were trying to operate blind and trying to decrypt a 16 character password, it's, it's just not going to work. So I'm not an expert on this, um, I only came across this today. The reason I'm bringing it up is because today I was looking at um, doing a shared masternode with Bishoy's 1DS shared masternode service. So please do check out that video, it's very, a very interesting chat I had with him. But what Bishoy was saying was, that, you know, one of the nodes I could use is vertical coin. So I was looking at buying some vertical coin today, actually, <laughs> as soon as my funds went to safe trade, one of the, 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 the bids that was ready to buy got pulled, so I lost that. Um, but I checked on my wallet and I noticed that it's encrypted and the password I'm entering isn't working. Boo. So this is what this, you know, that what this script is for. Um, it's for people like myself that can't get in. Now, before I talk about BTC recover, uh, BTC recover, which is here. I'm going to talk about this in a second. Um, it's important to realize that this isn't always the answer. So if you look at my situation with vertical coin with the wallet, uh, I downloaded another vertical coin wallet onto my laptop and I thought, okay, just double check. Maybe maybe the script has got a problem with, with the encryption. No, the wallet's fine. It encrypts a password and all that, fine. But if you run into a problem like this, one, you know, the, the probably the most common thing is that you've entered the password incorrectly. Now, I do still feel I've entered the password incorrectly. And, you know, when I did a quick search about this today, one of the other solutions to this, or one of the other things that causes this, is that it could be a corrupted wallet file. So you could have a corrupted wallet.dat file, and it might not be anything to do with your password. So I don't know. I could have been entering my correct password today, but the wallet.dat file that I've saved that was being used could be corrupt. Now in that situation, there's some other scripts out there that try and decrypt it, that try and, you know, basically save the wallet.dat file, try and restore it to what it should be. Um, that's not something I've explored. And to be honest, it's not something I need to explore right now. My vertical coin wallet has got like $13 in it. It's nothing. Um, so I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this. I really just did a quick search and just looked at a, a few threads because I was curious about it. And this is when I came across BTC Recover and I'm like, I need to share this with people because this is a very cool script. So on to BTC Recover and you can see it's listed here on GitHub. Um, if you go down here, it's got an explanation. BTC Recover is an open source Bitcoin wallet password and seed recovery tool. Now, it says Bitcoin wallet password and seed recovery tool, but um, this can be used with a variety of wallets. I think it can be used with pretty much wo most wallets. It says it's designed for the case when you already know most of your password or seed, but need assistance in trying different possible combinations. So you see all the files listed here and it's got an explanation of what it can do. Progress bar, free and open source, supported for Win Windows, Linux, OS X, 
supports Unicode and all that as well. Now, what you have to do, I'll link to this page down here. What you have to do is load up the tutorial page and this page is where you'll be you know, following instructions. This is, I guess, if you get any criticism of this script, you know, if, you, if there's anything I think some people might not like, it's the fact that it doesn't have a nice GUI. There's no nice graphical user interface. is isn't an, any nice way of just dragging and dropping, just entering into fields. It's command line driven. You need to enter commands and then you need to specify p parameters. Um, oh, just clear that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not the most user friendly in that regard, but everything is there as far as documentation goes. So you just have to go through this page. You have to go through... Um, this tutorial so it's a long page and, and you know there's a quick start guide here and it, it's, it's kind of overwhelming when you first see this page because there's so much information but the good thing is you don't need it all there's a quick start thing here and um, it talks about if you already have a BTC recover tokens uh, text file now that was something that threw me at the start but I found a thread on Bitcoin talk that listed it and I'll show you the file in, in, in a minute or so um, but I didn't see anything about that being generated in the file or in the guide. Um, it says read the token file, read the typos, uh, the typo section. So, okay, so this is the page about tokens. And tokens is, a be I guess a good way to look at it is guesses. This is, you enter the words and the phrases you think are in the password. They've said BTC Recover can accept as input a text file which has a list of what are called password tokens. A token is simply a portion of a password which you do remember, even if you don't remember where that portion appears. For example, the start, the middle, the finish. You just know that it contains it. So it's got some examples here. Basics, Cairo, Beetlejuice, Hotel California. So these are three different words and you think this is contained in the password. And, you, you know, I'll just touch upon them here. Mutual exclusion, you can put different spelling for each word. So that would be Cairo, Beetlejuice, Hotel California. Cairo, Beetlejuice. Hotel California, like use the different variations and you can require a certain word, you know, say this word has to be included in every password guess. You can say that a word should be at the beginning or the end of the password. You can say it can be the second or third word that could be in the middle. Uh, relative anchors, it's very, very in depth. And, you know, for someone that was just curious about the script and really wasn't trying to use it to do anything, you know, because I'm not, I haven't really lost any funds. Um, I didn't delve that deep, but it just shows you this is a very, very powerful script. Uh, and it's the same with the type, uh, the, the typo section. I'm talking like an idiot tonight. Um, so yeah, there's different options here. Typos, caps lock, swap, repeat, delete, typos case. Lots of different options there as well. Um, and you go down here, it says you have to read all those files and then read the BTC recover section. So here, you unzip the file. Yeah, and you find your wallet.dat file. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. You know, as far as you, there's an option to back up wallet or you go to the roaming section in, in Windows. Different ways of finding it. Um, and then basically you go down here and you get to a command prompt. You change to where the, the, it's installed. You have to make sure that you've got Python installed. There's another script you can install as well, which will help you accelerate it. So if you're doing, there's a, I can't remember which, what that's called actually. I'll find that. Um, there's another script you can install as well, but Python is what you need to install um, to make sure that you can run this script. You can see it's command driven here. Now, again, to go back to what I was saying there as, you know, I'm not an expert on it. I was just curious about this. I was, I was really fascinated by this script and just how it worked from a coding point of view. Um, and I was going to do a tutorial to show you guys exactly how it works and go pretty in depth with, with it all. And then I, I had to check something with a, with a parameter and I came across a video and this tutorial by Bitcoin Day Trader at the end of last year, really good video. So I really didn't want to go over a lot of the stuff that he was going over. Um, so I'll link to that video be below, very good tutorial, highly recommended. And he gets a little bit more in depth and shows you how it works. But in my video, I just kind of wanted to give you an overview. But I'll link to that video anyway, very good tutorial. So. That being said, if I can jump back over, this is actually my laptop because that's where I installed it today. I didn't want to install it to a second computer. Um, right. So I've got this is this is the 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 folder here. 
this is the folder and you know you can run all tests it'll load a window and do some tests like that as well um now in the in the the, the tutorial it talks about this tokens.txt file now bizarrely when i ran it and i and i set i, I said some i've got it blank here just now but i deleted it but when i had some passwords in there some password guesses in that it was coming up an error. It was saying file not found and re referring to, you know, different parts of a, of a file and it was saying parsing errors. For whatever reason, when I specified the word tokens.txt, it wasn't working. But when I specified dash dash token list or whatever it is, is it token list or tokens? Uh, token list. Um, when I specified that and then just saved the exact same information in a file called my passes or any other file name, it worked. And you can see here, I've picked three very simple words, pass, house, letter. Obviously, I've just made these up just now to demonstrate what the script is about because I'd be an idiot if I had to set my password using those words. Um, but yeah, just, I'm just using this just now to, to explain um, how this works. The other file there that we talked about, I kind of touched upon briefly, was the BTC Recover Tokens uh, auto text file. I copied this from Bitcoin Talk. I, I can... Add this to the description area so you guys can check it out and you can get an idea. You know, you can copy and paste it into this file if you want. Um, I've not actually used it, but I saw it listed on Bitcoin Talk and someone says copy this into your BTC Recover Tokens Auto Text file. So I did. But, I've, you know, I think it, I think the way it works, if you use that, you don't have to specify other parameters or something like that. I don't know. I haven't delved too deep into that. So... Let's jump over to my, my DOS window and I can clear the screen. Right. So see here, I've got, right. So basically what I've got here, and if I bring down this window, maybe see it a little bit better. Um, in fact, I'm going to take away my webcam. Right. So it's, what you have to do is link to Python 2.7 or Python 27 as the folder's called, uh, called. And I've got Python 27, Python, BTC recover.py, and that is this Python file. So you have to link to that. And then I've said dash dash list pass, dash dash token list, and then I've linked to my passes.txt. So I'm essentially linking to this file with these passwords. Now, what list pass will do is show me the guesses that the script is, is is going to attempt to, to find, you know, it's going to show me um, all the password combinations that it's found. So if I push return, you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can see here, pass, house, house, pass, pass, house, letter, letter, pass, pass, letter, letter, house. Now that's 15 password combinations and that's just with three simple words. Now you enter a couple of weird phrases, you enter, you know, enter the position, add this character the combinations start adding up. Now, that's 15 password combinations. It was instant. Yesterday, I was trying, uh, this morning, I was trying some different things and it came up like 100,000 combinations. Um, and that was insane. You know, it was saying it was going to take hours. Now, there is an option. I think it's dash dash enable dash GPU allows you to enable GPU acceleration. I tried this on my laptop and it didn't work. But you know, because I didn't want to spend too much time and I was just kind of messing around, trying different commands and um, just because I was interested in the script. Um, if I go back to this window and I can mod... Oops, what have I done here? Oh, I've, I've jumped to the wrong window. Right. There we go. Damn cursor. Right, so here, right. So what I'm going to do is modify this here and instead of saying list the password, I'm going to ask it to try and find the password. So what I'm going to do is dash dash wallet wallet dot dat and this should work. Okay, so now what it's doing is you can see 15 of 15 and what it essentially did was see all those passwords up there that, that it showed me. It, it's tried every one of those in the wallet dot dat file. Now this wallet dot dat file I've simply copied it. This is the vertical coin wallet and I've just copied it to this folder so that you know, it's in the same folder and I can link to it easily. And it says here, password search exhausted. That's because none of those uh, password combinations there are correct. But um, again, going back to the video 
that I showed with um, with this one with Bitcoin Day Trader. He actually does one, and I'm not sure if I can show you this through his video. Um, but he does like it's something like lots of different combinations, and he does Bit Day Coin Trader, and it's like 85 or something like that combinations, and he finds the password. So he set up the file like that. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should, or 64. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have done that as well. I should have set up a new installation. I should have set up a, a wallet.dat file with a, a, an imaginary password to show you how it works, but I didn't. Um, poor preparation on, on my, my account. Um, but what I will say is that, yeah, it works. When when you find it, essentially, if if my um, if my password was password letter, it would just say password found. That's the only difference it would say there. Um, it shows you what you can do with a script. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of scratching the surface, I guess you could say, as to how this would work. And, you know, in reality, it wouldn't be 15 password combinations. It could be hundreds of thousands, especially if you've set a complicated, a complicated password like you should. Um, but what what you should really do, um, you know, the reason that list pass thing is there is because what you can do is set up my passes and just try a few simple combinations just to know that it works. Then once you know that it works, once you know that everything is set up okay and you've got, you know, you're putting in the right commands, change the, add the, the real passwords, the real guesses that you want, and then run the script, but use that dash dash wallet and then link to the wallet.dat file and then try it then. What the list pass thing is quite useful for is just seeing that everything's set up correctly and then you can say, right, okay, it's, it's, it's working. But when you add more combinations, you don't want to list thousands and thousands of different, you know, combinations on your in your DOS window. Um, so, yeah, it's handy for that. But once you've set up correctly, I would just directly try to extract it from the wallet.dat file. So, yeah, as I said, I just touched upon this video. Uh, I just uh, touched upon this subject. I think this is a fantastic script. I really do. Um, it's one of those things that you hopefully none of you will actually ever have to use it. Hopefully you'll never have to use it. But it is free to download. And if you're if you're ever having problems logging in and you know most of the password and you just think I've got a letter wrong or it's a typo or something, if you have a lot of funds, then this is when you know you check in something like this. Anything under fifty or hundred dollars, maybe it's not going to be worth your time, depending on how much that is to you. But um I just I just think this is a fantastic script and I'm glad I'm a little bit more familiar with it because I hope I never have to use it. But this could be very, very useful in a sticky situation if, you know, you, you can't log into a, a, a wallet, an encrypted wallet, you can't get your seed, you can't get your password, and you need to get those funds. This is where you turn to something like this. Now, there are um, there are services out there that do that, but, uh, you know, how, how much do you, do, you know, how much do you trust a, an external third-party service to actually, you know, access your wallet and not steal the funds, especially on places like Bitcoin Talk. There's a lot of scammers that hang out there, a lot of great professionals as well. But you see Bill on Reddit, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll um, you know, I'll, I'll fix your wallet. I'll find your password for only 50%. I'll do it for only $2,000 and then they'll take your money and then just run. So be very careful at that. I, you know, personally, I would always turn to a free script like this before I start, you know, paying huge amounts of money to any service to find it. And if I did, I'd go for a really professional service, one where Ideally, I'd be able to meet the people in person. Um, so yeah, I'll link to this, guys. I'll link to the, the GitHub page, the tutorial page, and to this video. I think Bitcoin Day Trader did a good tutorial as well, so share some love. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this tutorial or this insight into BTC Recover. hope you found it uh, interesting. Um, I think it's a cool little script, and hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's there for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Please do leave a comment below and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.